Publishing your drawing in AutoCAD 2010 has never been easier. Now what you'll notice here, I've deliberately placed some extra layouts in this drawing. So if I go to the Model tab, there's my Model, there's my A3 Landscape tab. You'll notice I've got Layout 1, Layout 2, Layout 3 there, which are just default layouts. I'm going to go back to my A3 Landscape tab now. Now to publish your drawing, you need to go to the Publish command. The best way to find it is to go to the Application menu here. Click here, and there's Publish there. And I can publish to a 3D print service, or I can archive drawings, a sheet set, for example. However, if I just click on the word Publish, that actually opens up the Publish dialog box. And as you can see, big, complicated dialog box. Don't worry about that. You can save your sheet list name. You can publish to the plotter named in the page setup. Now that's what we want in this case, but it gives me not just the model tab, but also all of my layout tabs. Now the benefit I have here is I can remove things here. So you'll notice, look, A3 Landscape DWF is there for the A3 Landscape tab there. However, these don't have a particular page set up. I can apply one if I want to by clicking on the down arrow like so. I don't want to in this case, so I'll hit Escape there once. What I want to do is remove these layouts from this particular published setup. So I click there, and I click here, Remove Sheets. That removes Layout 1. Click there, Remove Sheets. Layout 2, click there, Remove Sheets, and they're gone. I don't want Model either. I don't want to plot to the model either. So I can click there, and I can remove that as well. Now what I really like about this, though, is I can rename that sheet name. I can right click over that and I can actually rename the sheet. It doesn't have to be 18 Publish Command A3 Landscape. It can be whatever I want it to be. So it might be, let's say, 001 Finished Office Plot, like so. So as you can see there now, the drawing name is down here, 18 Publish Command DWG, but the sheet name has a different name. Now, publishing output, what do I output to? Well, you'll notice here, number of copies one, I can set a number of copies that I want to plot. I can include a plot stamp if I want to. Now, a plot stamp is useful. If I tick that there and go here, plot stamp settings, I can actually set up a plot stamp in either millimeters or inches. So if I load here, I've got a choice of inches or millimeters. PSS stands for plot stamp settings. So I'm gonna use millimeters there, and what I can do there is I can actually say that I want the drawing name on the plot. I want the device name on the plot and so on. I'm not actually going to set it up this time, but you can do that and it allows you to categorize and catalog your drawings. I'm going to untick that there. Now, I can publish in the background. That's extremely useful because what it does is it publishes the drawing in the background and allows me to continue working in AutoCAD. I can also hide these details if I want to by clicking here or show details, it makes the dialog box bigger. I can also open my drawing in the viewer when I'm done. Now I'm not going to do that in this case. We'll cover DWFs and also Autodesk Design Review later on in the course. So I'm going to untick that there. Now all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to publish my finished office plot to DWF. So when I click on publish now, I'll be prompted, do I want to save my current list of sheets? I don't in this case, I say no to that. And as you can see, it's now going to prompt me to actually plot that in the background. You can see it's plotting away there. You can see the little printer symbol there, chugging away. And I can now just close that, and it's plotting to the known location where I set it to plot to. So as you can see, very quick and very easy. The publish command is very useful. It allows you to plot to any type of file, but also you've got plot stamp, you've got sheet naming, and you can remove sheets as well that you don't want to plot in that particular published command.